everyone, this is Yuli with the Ranch Simulator community team and welcome to part 3 of our series on the animals of Ranch Simulator. Today's tutorial is all about goats. Goats can be a good way to get started making cheese, which can lead to a very nice income. So without further ado, let's get started. Goats can be kept in a fenced in area or they can be kept in a barn. Either way, you should at least have a few troughs nearby to make sure they stay fed. You can use the barn cells to keep males and females apart to prevent mating, but just like with pigs, it's not a guarantee, so the recommended distance is three fences apart. Goats can be purchased at the general store. Males are $350 and come in white and orange, and females are $500 and also come in those colors. Goats can be transported in the UTV, the small and large pickups, the box truck, and the animal trailer. Goats will sleep at 2100 and wake at 0800. Goats make 0.15 units of feces per day and they eat every 25 minutes of real time during daytime hours. They will consume one unit of food per feeding. Goats can be mated as soon as they are purchased as long as they are purchased before 1600. Female goats will be pregnant for three to four days depending on your time settings and they will give birth to a single kid, typically in the morning hours. The kid will reach adulthood after eating five times. During my testing, I had 60% females and 40% males. I also had females mating again the same day they gave birth, but this wasn't typical. Unlike pigs, kids cannot breed until they are fully grown. Also unlike pigs, goats will not grow any bigger after reaching adulthood. Female goats will drop four pieces of meat and male goats will drop five pieces when harvested. However, this meat cannot be processed and it only sells for $40 per piece, so goats aren't really good for an income from their meat. Their main income usage is for their milk. Female goats will give four units of milk manually with a small bucket and five units with the milking machine. However, once a milk can has been used for goat's milk, it cannot be used for cow's milk again until it's empty. They can be milked twice a day at 800 and 1600. Since each curd and wheel of cheese requires four units of milk, this means each female goat can produce two and a half curds or cheese per day when using the milking machine. You can sell curds and cheese with or without the goat's mold. However, this will affect the final price. The sales prices for goat products are shown here. These are the base prices which don't include any add-ons. Adding an egg to these recipes will increase the price of each one by $10. Also, you can add goat's milk to any meat recipes to raise the price of that item by $12 or to receive a bonus on that item anytime there is a milk bonus at Best Burger. I recommend using goat's milk over cow's milk for meats since cow's milk is more valuable. I'll go more in depth on that reasoning in the next part of our series. That is it for this tutorial on goats. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how these cute little animals fit into life on your ranch. Please like this video if you learned something new today and make sure you subscribe so you can see the entire Animals of Ranch Simulator series. Up next, we're going to take a look at cows, which can be one of the biggest money makers in the game. Thank you so much for watching and happy ranching!